problem with your pet, you can give us a call right now. We do have some lines open. The number is 918-460-KJRH. And as always, it's Dr. Joe Landers here to answer your questions. And he's brought along Dudley this morning. Yeah, Good this morning. is Dudley. And, and you asked me what he is. He's a Cocker Spaniel now. We've kind of shaved him off because he mm -hmm. was all matted and everything. And he's growing Still got a lot of fur, good. though. He does. He And he will. His, his fur will actually get a, at least another inch longer or so. But but he's uh, he's about, well, we, two and a half, three. Uh, he's right in there. He's not a, <laughs> he's not a puppy anymore or anything. Very calm little dog here. Uh, he I was going to say that can be a good thing for yeah, folks. Uh, absolutely. Looking absolutely. for a little bit uh, uh, of a calmer dog. Huh? Absolutely. I mean, he's, he'll make a very good little lap dog. Uh, uh, and and uh, but he's up for adoption. He had a little problem with his knee, but we mm -hmm. fixed that, and everything's going well. And just a very good, very little polite dog. I would, I mean, polite is the word I want to use here. <laughs> he's uh, he will get excited and run around a little bit, but then he's you know he knows when to be calm. So seems like he's doing great. Yeah, he really he really is. He's over at Heritage, uh, or he's at AnimalAid.org on the net. So. All right, well, let's go to the phones. First up, we have Sherry and Jay. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning. Hi. What's your question? Uh, yes, I would like to know. I have a, a dog that that she starts scratching and basically pulling at her hair mm -hmm. and she only does it in the summertime. Yep. Yep. Pretty, pretty common. I bet you, I mean, there's a couple, three things that can be. Your, your vet ought to kind of check that and look and see if there's any uh, fleas or, or, or stuff. But a lot of times that's kind of allergies. And a lot of times dogs uh, express their allergies in their skin, so they get really super itchy. Then they start licking themselves, then they get an infection. And what we call that is self-mutilation. When they really get that bad, a lot of times you give them a shot or something, kind of get them out of it, you know. But, uh, but yeah, usually I try to give them some relief. So you can try some Benadryl, but when they go, they that intense and they are pulling out their hair usually the Benadryl isn't strong enough to work it's it's not bad necessarily but it but it won't it won't work the way you want it so all right our next caller is Melissa in Catoosa good morning Melissa yeah I got a seven-year-old dash hound and mm -hmm. his acts like his back leg certain when he walks he'll yelp Yep. Is there anything over the counter that I can give him for pain? Yeah, the only thing that's really safe over the counter is some aspirin. You give a baby aspirin once or twice a day. Uh, a lot of times, if they're if they're real painful, you might want to get something a little stronger and also have the veterinarian, your veterinarian, test their reflexes and stuff and make sure that they don't think it's anything more kind of serious. One of the deals that I'll tell people above all else, what I prescribe is 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 quote unquote bed rest, which means that you leash walk them in and outside for several days so that they just can't run and then hurt themselves and make sure that at, at night or other times that they can't jump up and down things and stairs and just really just like you would if your back hurt you would go and you kind of rest and you take it easy um, but dogs a lot of times are a little 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 more adventurous especially if they get a little pain mm -hmm. relief in them so so be careful with that so. all right let's head out to Bristow and talk to Dwayne good morning Dwayne what's your question oh hi Dwayne. Dwayne, what's your question? Uh, yeah, I have a dog here that I need to get it fixed. Uh -huh. and you might want to turn your TV down, Dwayne. That could be causing you uh, some problems there. Okay. <laughs> All uh, right, yeah, so what's your question? Yeah, I need to get it fixed, but uh, I'm uh, kind of out of cash. And yeah, there's, uh, if you go on the Internet, Spay, Oklahoma, uh, and, I, and they, they, they do that. They kind of coordinate that a little bit. Uh, and I think that's a very good thing because you're right, you know, the majority of pet popu overpopulation comes from, you know, kind of un un unwanted breedings or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of important, but, but, but Spay, Oklahoma will, will help you out. All right. And again, if you'd like to adopt Dudley, you can call Animal Aid at 918-744-8280 or log on to AnimalAid.org. Dr. Landers is here every Thursday to answer your pet questions. If you missed any of today's segment, you can go to KJRH.com and click on the Lifestyle tab to watch it again and learn about other pets who need homes. Thanks, Dr. Joe. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate it.